Hey everyone, welcome to the Decorative Den, a look inside my craft room where I share all things crafting, planning, and DIY. My name is Charity and I am so happy to have you here with me today. So I have been so far behind in my memory planner, which is this A5 planner here. And so to catch up, I thought it would be fun to go through and just lay down the base spreads for four different weeks. And while I'm doing that, I am going to answer a planner tag Q&A. So I was not tagged in anything. I just kind of Googled planner questions. And so I'm going to go through those while I lay down the base of these spreads and hopefully get a little more caught up in this planner. So if you are interested in seeing that, then just keep watching. Okay, so because I'm going to be answering questions, I thought it would be good to just show you the kits I'm using here in the beginning. So first I have this B6 kit from Sticker Guru that's Baby Yoda themed. Then I'm gonna be using some mermaid printable full boxes from La La Land Studio. I have another one of the mini or B6 kits from Sticker Guru. This one is Explore. I absolutely love the artwork for this kit. And then finally, I'm going to be using some full boxes from the kit Annabelle from the GP Studio. So that's what I'm going to be laying down. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to jump into these questions. So the first question is, how were you introduced to planners and what was your first planner? So I was introduced to planners probably in sixth grade. Um, so my middle school and my high school would do a thing where at the beginning of each school year, they would give every student a free agenda that was like school spirit themed. And it was just to kind of teach us how to be responsible and write down our homework and you know just stay on task as students. And so that was my first experience with planning or having a planner or agenda. And it was it worked. It was one that I carried through as a student, um, both in undergrad and getting my master's degree, I kept a planner up. Um, and then I kind of stopped when I entered the workforce and didn't start again until I was planning a wedding and feeling really overwhelmed. And that was in 2017. And that was at the time when I was first introduced to the happy planner system and using stickers and washi tape to decorate your planner. So. I've been planning for a while, but um, started using decorative planning in 2017. So the next question is, how many planners do you have and what are they used for? So I actually have a video about this. It's my 2021 planner lineup. I go through all of the planners that I'm using this year. And I would say for the most part, that video is still accurate. So I will make sure to link that below in case you are interested in kind of seeing all of my planners and hearing me go more in depth into how I use them. But I do have four planners this year. So I have a full letter, leather, oh my gosh, <laughs> a full letter sized planner. And that is the one that I use for all of my decorative den kind of content planning for videos and pictures and things like that. I have this A5 planner, and this is the one that I do my memory keeping in, as well as a little gratitude journaling. I have a mini happy planner, and that is my like traditional planner in the sense that I use it to plan ahead my months, keep active to-do lists, and things like that. And then I have a micro happy planner, which I use as my everyday carry planner. I like that it's small and I can just throw it in my bag. And I primarily use that one for daily planning. So just with daily inserts. But those are my planners. And um, the next question is, what is your favorite brand of planner? So I don't know if I actually have a favorite brand per se. Um, in general, I love disc bound planners. And I guess I should have said in the last question, all of the planners that I use, all four of them are disc bound planners. It is by far my favorite system. I love how customizable it is. Um, I would say I don't necessarily have a favorite brand just because so many of the inserts I use in my planners are ones that I created myself. And so I don't necessarily have brand loyalty, but definitely I think in terms of planning system or binding system, I love disc bound planners and would highly recommend them to anyone who's even slightly interested. 
So let's see. The next question is, how long does it take you to update your planner each day? Um, so I don't update my planner each day, which I feel like is something terrible to admit as someone who loves planners and has a channel that I do planning on. Um, at best, I update my planners every other day. Um, the planner I update the most is my micro happy planner, which is my on the go planner. And so that's the easiest one to kind of update and change things as plans change or appointments get added. And so I do the most with that planner. And because I don't do a lot of decorating in that planner and it's mainly functional, um, updating it each day or every other day only takes a few minutes, which is something that I really love and appreciate about that planner and those daily plans. Um, if I am doing like a memory spread, those often can take me multiple hours, especially if I'm not using a kit and instead I'm, you know, pulling different washi tape or if I'm using decorative paper that I have to cut down because I don't want to use stickers and those things can take like two or three hours if I want to <laughs> take that much time with them. Um, so I would say in general, daily planning updates, very short. Um, and then on the weekends, I'll usually spend at least two hours doing other planner updates that involve more decorating and stickers and washi. So the next question is, when did you start decorating your planner? Okay, so I kind of already answered this one um, in 2017. So that is when I was first introduced to decorative planning. And essentially what had happened is I was very stressed out <laughs> planning a wedding and had not been using a paper planner since um, I was in grad school. And so it had been a few years and pretty much was like, okay, I need to find some kind of planning or organizational system. And so I was watching YouTube videos about different organizational systems and planning. And I just stumbled across a random video of someone setting up their week in their happy planner. And they were using sticker books and washi tape. And as someone who has always loved crafting and being creative, falling onto that video or discovering that video of someone essentially crafting their planner was just amazing to me. I immediately ran to Michael's and bought myself a happy planner and two sticker books and five rolls of washi tape and was like, okay, I'm going to start decorative planning. And um, it really grew right from there. I mean, from that, you know, first happy planner on, I have become obsessed with decorative planning. Like I know so many other people have and I just find it really relaxing and it is a fun creative outlet. I like that it's a lot like scrapbooking because you can log memories and things that happen in your life, but I'm just not motivated enough to take pictures and print them out and do all of that. And so I like that this is a more, a more accessible way to still kind of scrapbook and be creative. And then I like that it's also productive whenever I am pre-planning out my weeks. But yeah, so that is my introduction to decorative planning and when I first started decorating my planners. So the next question is, what is your favorite pen for your planner? Ooh, so I really love felt tip pens in general. I love them so much more than like a ballpoint or gel pen. And so um, my all time favorite pen to use in my planners is the Sharpie just pen, Sharpie pen. It's a fine tip Sharpie um, felt tip pen just in black. I don't like to do a lot of color coding in my planners when it comes to pens. I mainly just like black pens and definitely that felt tip Sharpie pen is my favorite. Lately, I have been using the Sharpie S gel pen a little more, um, which I do enjoy as well. I like how fine the tip is. And so I could see myself exploring some fine tip gel options in the future, but definitely felt tip it is the best all the way. <laughs> So the next question is, if you could use one embellishment, what would it be? And they give examples like stickers, washi tapes, gems, etc. So this is a hard question. Um, I think I'm going to have to go with washi tape and I, I would be interested what other people say. If you are a decorative planner, um, what would be the one thing you would stick with? Because I definitely love stickers. I especially love character stickers, but I think 
Washi tape, if I could only pick one, would be my go-to just because I think you can do a lot with washi tape. You can create full boxes with it. You can rip it up and layer it. And I think you could just do a lot of fun and creative things with washi tape that I don't necessarily think I could do with just stickers. So I think that's why I would I would pick washi tape. Also, I really love collecting washi tape and displaying washi tape. Um, I think it's just a fun and beautiful craft supply in general. So I think that would be my choice if I could just have one. So the next question is, what is your favorite place to get planner supplies slash goodies? Etsy shops can be included. Um, okay, so I would definitely say Etsy shops in general, and by Etsy shop, I don't mean just shops on the Etsy platform. I also just mean small business planner and sticker shops in general. I absolutely love that being in the planner community means you get to buy unique, beautiful artwork from so many talented artists. And in particular, I mean, I love character stickers. And so I love any shop that creates their own unique little characters doing so many different daily tasks. Um, so some of my favorite are like the Coffee Monster Co. Emotes. I love the little Mochi Kichi characters. Um, Sweet Ava's Paper has so many adorable characters. I love Dottie the little sugar bug and Monty the bat. So freaking cute. Um, yeah, pretty much just any shop that does their own doodles and especially characters. I love them. The other thing I really like to buy is printable planner kits. Um, I will use planner kits. I mean, obviously I'm using a pre-made planner kit right now, um, but I find that planning with kits every week can be so expensive. And so I really love printable kits. So some of my favorite printable shops are, um, well, La La Land Studios, which is in this plan with me. And then also I love Paper Crown Planner. That is definitely one of my favorite shops, um, mainly because as someone who is a Cricut owner, as opposed to owning a silhouette, I find that some printable shops I can't easily transfer their files to my Cricut and Cricut software. And so I love that Paper Crown Planner specifically makes kits that can be used with the Cricut and they can be uploaded into the Cricut software fairly easy. So that is something I really appreciate and definitely would recommend. But yeah, those are some of my favorite shops. That's a really hard question because I feel like I love so many planner shops, but just in general, I love supporting small businesses. And that's a great thing about the planner community is that we are all supporting so many amazing local, small, artists and maybe not even local, but just small artists and businesses. All right. So we are moving on to my last spread or base of a spread that I'm putting down. So I'm going to jump ahead in the questions a little bit since there are quite a few more. Um, but the next one I'm going to do is what planner would you recommend to a first time user and or planner to decorate? And I love this question because I feel like I'm not totally sure how I would answer this, and I would love to hear what you would recommend. If you're a planner person, which I'm guessing you are, what planner would you recommend for someone starting out? I feel like for me, I would recommend the Happy Planner, even though I don't really use like the Happy Planner inserts anymore. I make all of my own inserts. But I think when I was just starting out, having a planner that was fully pre-made. It had all the weeks, all the months, everything was already laid out for me. And I just had to add my plans was so important because I don't think I would have stuck with planning if I had to print and cut all of my own inserts. Um, so I definitely liked the happy planner and thought it was a great first planner for me in terms of decorative planning. But let me know what you guys think, especially if you are not someone who uses a lot of disc bound planners. What non disc bound planners would you recommend someone starts with? Um, the next question is if you had to pick one planner, which would you use and why? And this is another super hard question. Um, but I think for me, it would be between my A5 planner because. A5 is probably my favorite size ever. It is just perfect in my opinion. Um, 
or it would be my micro because that's my most used planner. If I really think about which planner I open the most and use the most, it is my daily planner, my carry-all planner, my micro planner. And so it would have to be one of those. Oh man. If I only had to pick one though, I think I would pick my A5 memory planner because when it comes to decorative planning, my absolute favorite part is being able to do these memory spreads, log my days, and have something to look back on and reflect on. And so I feel like I would have to pick my A5 memory planner, especially if I'm talking about just one planner for decorative planning. But yeah, that is another question I would love to hear your answer to. So please let me know which planner would you keep and why. But yeah, that'll pretty much do it for all the questions that I'm going to answer today. I'm just going to flip through these spreads to show you what all I put down. So again, this was the Baby Yoda kit from Sticker Guru, and that Baby Yoda washi is from Ashley's to-do list. Then I have my mermaid spread, have to do a mermaid spread in May. And again, these stickers are from La La Land Studio and the hollow jellyfish washi is from Fox and Cactus. Ooh, that is another favorite sticker shop for me, by the way. <laughs> um, this next week again was the explore kit from Sticker Guru. And then I love this gorgeous brown washi from Simply Gilded. And the little bow washi I've been adding to the headers each week, that is all from Rose Colored Days, the little overlay washi tape. And finally, here are the full boxes from the GP Studio Annabelle kit. And the date covers I used here are from Paper Crown Planner. And the washi, again, is Simply Gilded. But yeah, guys, that will do it for this video. I am going to list all of the questions that I answered in the description below. I'm also going to include the ones that I didn't get to. Please feel free to look through them and share your answers below. I would love to hear your answers. You know, how did you get started in decorative planning? What are your favorite shops? What planners would you recommend? All of it, definitely comment down below. But yeah, if you liked this video, please hit the like button for me so I know, and consider subscribing if you are interested in other crafting, planning, and DIY videos. And I do just have to say before I go, I know this video is late, um, but I anticipate the next few months to be a little more chill, and so I will be back on my every other week schedule moving forward, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye, guys!